booty. Boop, boop. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my Johnny, God. I'm shocked. Oh. Johnny. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Look at Hall, the Hey Queen after show where we take our celebrity guests and show them some of the haws that they have worked with through the years and ask them to spill a little tea or throw a little shade or just tell us something that we don't know. We are here with the legendary, my own personal <laughs> hero, the diva of all divas, Jackie Harry. Yeah. Woo, yes, Miss Harry. Yeah. Of course, beautiful Lady Red is still here. Hi, honey. Hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, very nice. And Mr. Adam Joseph. Mary. <laughs> oh, very nice. Uh, not well done. Can you give us the proper... Uh, that was maybe the best thing that happened all day, Lady Red, is that Jack A just said no to oh, Adam Joseph's no. invitation. But you're good. You're good. Like you <laughs> Can you give us the proper version? I don't version? know. We have to do it later, because you know, I have to get ready for it. I have to kind of prepare, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just feeling one thing right now, Jackie, it's joy. Uh -oh. Joy and, and gratitude. Uh -oh. <laughs> so get that Mary worked up inside for me later. I'm working it up. OK. <laughs> so Jackie, we're just going to show you pictures of different people you've worked with, and you'll just tell us a little something. If okay. it's shady, that's what they deserve. It's nice, that's what they deserve. And if it's just a little tea story, I brought out our special pot to impress you. The teapot. <laughs> Thank you to the What It Do podcast for giving us that. So we'll just begin by looking at her, okay? okay. Let us begin. Look at her. Marla Gibbs. She cool. <laughs> yeah. Just turned 85. Yeah. And she really still gets around. She does. Yeah, she does. It's amazing. And I directed her on the first film. I mean, it's oh, did amazing. you direct her in the first family? Uh -huh. And she's cool. Yeah, everything's cool, you know, now between us. And we're both grown women. By that, I mean, I was a novice mm. when I started 227. I was just, who, who? You right. Know, I know not about no floor. It's on Jefferson. I was like, who, who? Right. Uh, so, but uh, it was an evolution. Yeah. Did you ever have like a sit down? Like, oh, okay, yeah. hey, oh, this, heck is, yeah. this is, we never talked about this. Let's talk about it finally. No, it wasn't no dialogue. It was just straight up. What you say about me? And what's the so, 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 so. Yeah, oh, no. Wow. When, you know, when was this? Recently? Oh, years or ago. Long? Years, no, years ago. ago. Yeah. But after 227 was over? No. No. No, it took years. Okay. Yeah, that was tight. Tense tight. Yeah. Tense time. Because she did, she, that was her moment. And yeah. then it became your moment. And she admits to that. Yeah. She said she wished she had not listened to people and uh, gone on things. You know, she, she's very open about it. She's not closed about it, you know, so, but that's like way back. There. I know that's way back, but it's just so. No, I'm talking about that discussion. Oh, that discussion. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it's just that. so delicious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> know all about fights with Marla Gibbs <laughs> on the set of 227. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what a delight. Mm, I'm living my heaven. Look at home. The girls. Oh, my babies. Look how fine they are. They are, and so both super successful uh, still. Yeah, but totally two different people. When we were doing the show, I told them, you're going to want to become your own individual. And they were like, what you mean, Jack? Because they were 13. Right. Jack <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were so sweet. And I said, because you're not going to want to be called Tia when you're Tamara and Tamara when you're Tia. And they said, hmm? And they, they're they two different people, you know. Tia's like smooth and really sultry and da da da. And Tamara's like the, the, the corny, silly one. She's got great brains. Yeah. You know, so, so you know, and just their own individual woman. And, yeah. and I love talking to them. And I see them individually. Uh huh. You know, and I've been to things that they've been to, and they've got their own families. Great husbands, both of them. Very yeah. supportive. You know, and just, just, just really all around. I've been on Tia's show. Yeah. You know, and on Tamara's show, The Real. I, I love The Real. It's good. And I still boast of them up as females, you know, because uh -huh. you want to be in power, you got to have a thick skin. You know that. Yeah. Ooh, sticks what? and stones. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but comments will never hurt you. That's right. That's <laughs> so right. don't read them. That's right. Don't read them. <laughs> What's something we don't know about T and Tamara? How religious they are. 
Mm. They were like really Bible carriers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, know. you get a little bit of that on the reel from Tamara, but. It's serious. Yeah. yeah, they don't play that. They don't, you can't joke about it. I went to church with them one time and people running up and down the aisle and flipping and going on. They was, hard, they was having church. Wow. And I was like, you know, because I'm a Baptist, you know, we'd be in church, you know, you'd be like, oh yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> They'd be like, ah, hallelujah, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so they're really rigorous. Wow. Yeah, they, they're not, yeah, they, they, they're card carriers. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Oh, Lonnie my Anderson. Girl, Lonnie. She told you to always be dolled up. What was that conversation? Shoes. She told shoes. me where to go to buy shoes. Right really? there on Sunset Plaza. Mm. Eric's, you know Eric's? Over there on Sunset Plaza got fabulous shoes. And I used to get the kind of shoes. She said, just get a pair in every color. Uh -huh. And I did. <sighs> I had like 300 pairs of shoes when I was about 1980, whatever. I can't believe And I remember <laughs> Nell Carter, the late, great Nell the Carter. The late, great. Told me to put them in boxes and take pictures of them and put it on the thing so you could see where your shoes are, which was, I mean. Good advice no, from no Nell Carter. Day. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I had all, I was, that girl. And uh, she said, have your wigs ready because you're not going to always want to get your hair done. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she had them. Phyllis Diller had 300 wigs. I went to her house. It was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> That's a date I would have liked to see. In, uh... Carol Channing. It was frightening. But, um, <laughs> no, you see all these wigs? Y'all not been to a wig room, huh? Well, not a, not a Phyllis Diller level wig room, I don't think. Bird Reynolds got a wig room. Yes, he does. Ah! <laughs> I think Matthew McConaughey also no! has a wig room. No! Ah! Wait! Uh -huh. No! <laughs> so when you went to Lonnie's, did you see Bert's wig room? Actually, I was on the private plane with them. Oh, well, of course you were. <laughs> I mean, Dom DeLuise. We did some shows together. Oh, I did so... a lot of shows with a lot of famous people. Sammy yeah. Davis, Billy Crystal. Uh, yeah, because you were such a great cross-section of No, but of I did eras. those shows where you go out and you're the it girl. You yeah. just go out and do your little numbering. They're like those Bob Hope old shows. Yeah, that's you know, what I mean. That's eye like, candy. Like, you were right in the middle of where, like, you were the newer generation, but some of those old <sighs> Hollywood they types took me under their wing. were still around. Yeah, Angie Dickinson, just stunning stars. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, just a lush life, you know, which I loved. I yeah. loved it, you know, but I don't miss it. What else did Lonnie Anderson, because Lonnie Anderson was a lot like you, a sexy Makeup, breakout on a, on a sitcom. WKRP, which a lot of people don't remember. But it's a great show. And a classy lady. Yeah. Classy. She was married Still to Bert when I met her. And um, on a show with she and Dolly Parton, sweeties. You know, and you don't know these things, because you see one thing. Right. You know, she's really smart. And she was good with her money, too. Dolly, uh -huh. Dolly and Lonnie. Yeah. Still. That's still what, looks great. That's what I like to, like, when my divas save their money and still look good. That's <laughs> right. And a nice person. Oh, even better. A sweetie. Yes. Not a, a bitch at all. Mm, good. God bless you, Lonnie mm -hmm, Anderson. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Rodney yeah. oh! Dangerfield. Oh! <laughs> now you're going to make me cry. No, you knew him I back. Miss I mean, him so you, much. you knew him from Ladybugs, right? Yeah, but he was. Mm, I can't explain. Oh, because he was always, he was always told me, you sit, somebody sits down and tells you about comedy. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't know about that. They think it's just natural. No, no he said, baby, 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 you got to study your logic, you got to study your, you gotta study your mantra, you got to study your mantra. You know, you got to you gotta have your thing, you know, your thing, you know, no, no. Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Henny Youngman, oh, mm. come in, take my wife, please. Yeah. He always said it when he came out, Don Rickles, you, you, you know, insult. And his was, uh, no respect, baby, no respect, don't give me no respect, you know. So he said, have your thing ready. And I always have, for the heckler in the audience, have have that material too. You know, Joan Rivers told me that, who was a great friend as well. Yes. You know, and they tell you about timing. And one thing Marley gives, I'm gonna give her her, her, um, her praise. She, my timing was great when I got on Shooter 7, but it got better with her, because she mm. knew how to give it as well as get it. Yeah. So you get it to da 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 you know. Yeah, because she was a master at, at yes, that. Those as zingers. Florence, that's what yes, Florence, that's Sherman Hemsley. Yeah. Well, oh, I miss him too. But that's uh, a master class that, of, of so uh, zingering. Did all that. And also, Rodney was very sexy. I know he don't look at y'all, but he was very <laughs> sexy, very generous, paid me very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. As you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have gave him some if he'd asked me. Oh. <laughs> But, you know. but he was, that's a little tea, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he was married happily to Joan, uh, who passed as well mm. recently. So, so 
Great guy. Great, great guy. guy. And yeah. Gave you great advice. Yes, and he didn't do no more drugs, no more drinking, because he said, baby, if you, if you smoke, you drink. If you drink, you do cocaine. If you do cocaine, you're going to jail. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> he had changed his life, and he got famous at 50. Right. So you can start life at 50. Just remember that. <laughs> that is Bernie good. Mac. There's a few of them. All of them, yeah. Who's that, Abe Vigoda? He was, Abe yeah, Vigoda. Yeah, he started, he was working at the dentist's office. I don't know what he was doing, but he was starting until he was 60. Yeah. Can you think, you know? I mean, that's a that's a special act three of your so life. So get on YouTube, and you so could do it too. Get it on, like you Lady Randis, still a chance for us. Uh, <laughs>